Hey YouTube, this video is to describe my current daily carry Zippo. It is a 1941 replica brush chrome. Uh, this is the box that you'll be looking at when you get one. Comes in a white sleeve. Pop that sleeve open and it is a replica box of the ones that they would have, something that would have come in back in the 40s. This particular one is brushed chrome. When you pop it open, you've got your standard warranty, the guarantee in there, which incidentally is where I like to keep both the price tag and the orange safety sticker that they come with. Just tuck it right in there and Hey, if you want it for future use, if you're a collector, great place to keep it. You've still got it, and it's out of the way. This is... This is what the inside of the lighter would look like. List, sorry for the glare there. There we go. List up top, 1941 replica. You can see it's the brush chrome model. Set that over there for a moment. We'll just look at the box still. So you can see the inside of the box actually lists different characteristics that make them distinctive from your current lighters. So the case is a flat plane. The edges are less rounded. The lid has some distinctive corners. Uh, has a four barrel hinge, which is very different. And the modern ones, as you see down here, the modern Zippos have a five barrel. And the insert to the lighter is a replica as well. It looks more it's more akin to the one that would have been in the original than what's in the current ones. So. So. To the lighter itself. As you can see, the bottom stamp is different. The bottom stamp is more like the ones that they would have had. It's got the flat bottom, as opposed to the canned one. Has the patent number two zero three two six nine five right there, which is different than the patent that's on the current ones. It is dated modernly. It's got the month and year codes on it. You can see E two thousand twelve, but it does have the original bottom stamp. And actually, I apologize here. Give me one second. I can go grab one, of, one that has that stamp originally. There we go. Now, that lighter is, this lighter, the one that you're looking at right now, is from 1951. This is an original from 51, it has a can bottom as opposed to the flat bottom. But as you can see, the bottom stamps are the same as opposed to that one, which is a modern one from 2008, obviously. So, back to this one. the. Inside, when you flip it open, as you can see, has a different style chimney. Chimney here, you've got one, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes per side. It is a 14 hole chimney as opposed to a modern one which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the old ones are missing the bottom hole right there. 16 hole chimney versus 14. And as you can see, the rivet wheels are different as well. The modern one has a closed rivet, 
which the original has an open rivet. Back to the hinges they were referring to. This has a four barrel hinge. So the modern one has five. I noticed that the overall shape is actually slightly different as well. This one is more rounded. It says it has less rounded edges. I believe they're referring to these right here because there is a slight bowing. Let's see? Whereas these edges are completely flat. But the corners themselves, I think, have a much nicer curve to them. Now, one thing interesting is because these lighters are actually slightly... can't really see it here, but they're actually slightly larger. Because of that, the inserts are actually two different sizes. As you can see with the four barrel hinge. Oops. Flip this one open. That's where you're looking. This one open will actually open all the way. But difference in inserts is relatively substantial. This insert will fit perfectly fine. It'll still function no problem. But this insert will not fit in the modern in the modern line. There you have it. Vintage replica 1941 Zippo.